Good morning, wise ones. I want to exhort you to walk in the counsel of God. To begin, walking in the counsel of God requires that we walk according to the Word of God and not our feelings and emotions. Let's look at Joshua 1.8. It encourages us to study this book of instruction continually, meditate on it day and night, so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. So, here is the list of things we can do in order to walk in the counsel of God. Number one, make the word of God your final authority. In Matthew 24, 35, Jesus declares that heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. Number two, always go directly to the word of God for your counsel. It's imperative that we learn how to feed our spirits. Proverbs 20, 27 says, The spirit of man is the lamp of the Lord, searching all the inner depths of his heart. Also, remember that all scripture is breathed out by God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. 2 Timothy 3.16 Number 3. Put away sin consciousness and declare that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians 5.21 Number 4. Use the name of Jesus fearlessly and expect results from the use of his name. John 16.24 declares, Until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. Number five, confess the word of God every day over your life. Discipline your words and begin to believe them. Use words of faith and order your words. Number six, praise God at all times, not just when you have money in your pocket and food in your refrigerator. Declare what Philippians 4.19 says, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory. And number seven, continually confess before God that you don't have a care. 1 Peter 5.7 exhorts you to cast all your cares once and for all on him, for he cares for you. Remember this, God will fulfill his word when we fulfill the conditions. God bless you guys. If you were blessed today and would like to donate to our ministry, simply click on gordonministries.org and hit donate. God bless you guys. I love you and I'm praying for you today.